So hi everyone. So we want to do a reading today. A very short reading about what's going on next week. And um, yeah, those readings are also timeless, guys. So whenever the universe brings you to my channel and you watch these videos, don't think that they are not relevant anymore, this information. Um, yeah, whenever you find my channel, whenever you find this reading, it resonates. Also, if I'm only talking about next week, please apply it then to the following week when you watch this reading, okay? And I want to shuffle while I'm doing the piles so you can see the cards that come out. And I just want to use my BTS tarot deck, the one I worked on for a year. I'm very proud of this is my little baby you know <laughs> and we want to use a normal card deck as um yeah signifiers for my cards and yeah let's do a song for you guys okay let's do a song for you guys you should listen to this week that should uh, the universe is saying maybe helps you okay so we're starting with pile jungkook and um yeah Let's start. I pre-shuffled this deck. And um, yeah, I'm just doing it like this. And then I can draw the cards. And this is for confirmation and for finding about more stuff if we need it. So let's move it a little bit to the back so you can see it, guys. Okay, so... We're talking about next week, which starts tomorrow is the 8th. So which starts from the 9th to the 16th of December in 2019. But as I said before, whenever you find this reading, it's relevant for the following week. Okay, guys? So let's see what's going on for Pai Jankuk. Universe, please give me information. What's the most important theme, most important topic for for the army who chose Pai Jankuk. Got this one. Okay, two. I grabbed two, so we take this two. So for you, the most important theme next week, topic that's coming up, is the Eight of Swords reverse. So you're releasing yourself from something. And yeah. The I put the Nine of Swords pentacles here let's do it like this let's put cook in the middle <clears throat> so is it still on the yeah that's good so i can put the signifier cards here and i can talk better yeah universe give me more information why is the eight of swords here why is the eight of swords here I'm not looking, guys, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords here? It's the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, it's a love reading, guys. So, Pai Shankook, something is happening next week when you try to release yourself from kind of like a disappointed situation. It could be in love. It could also be, you know, in other things. You feel disappointed about the situation. It could be a person. It could also be a situation. You feel disappointed and you release yourself from that. So next week, it's the first time for you to feel released from a situation that brought you a little bit of heartbreak disappointment feeling alone something like that and you could be a queen of cups means you could be a water sign because there is a lot of hearts here a lot of water energy so you could be um, a cancer pisces scorpio person yeah and the nine of pentacles means you becoming single again so it could mean you Yeah, maybe you will release yourself from a relationship and you are single again. 
It could also mean that you release yourself from something that brought you down and you become stable again, stable in your finances, stable in your life in general. That's okay for you being alone. Maybe because before, until next week, you were, okay, you were not okay with being alone. And next week, there's kind of a release happening and you kind of feel very stable on your own. You feel confident, you feel, um, yeah, like it's okay for you being alone, standing up for yourself, um, living a life just by yourself, you know. And maybe be before you were, because look at this face of this card and she's looking this way, like this disappointment is over. Okay, so let's see which song, universe, what song should help Pa Jungkook this week? The upcoming week, which song? Okay, hmm, <laughs> look at those synchronicities. Guys, look at this, this cook again and it says, tell me what you want right now, hello. And that's a very confident song, you know, you guys know that song, right? Um... You know the lyrics to that song and that's like you're feeling very confident. So next week you're feeling confident in yourself. You're saying, hello, hello, I'm single again, you know. <laughs> it could also be like this. Like you're talking, hey, <laughs> you know, my disappointment period is over. I'm not disappointed anymore. And whatever happened to your life, you release yourself from being stuck in that. Okay, so pile Jungkook, that's all what I have for you. And so, please, let's move on to our next pile. And this is our next cutie up is Juni or RM. So, okay, guys. So, we're asking today what is happening next week for you what's the most important topic and i just want to do a quick reading with two cards okay that worked really good with two cards i just draw for cook so i will do that for the others too so let's see universe please give me two cards for those army who chose juni what is happening next week i want to take this one so we have the page of wands. I want to put him here. And please give me another one. I want to have this one. And that's the five of wands. So a very passionate week's week for you this week. Because wands are passion. Uh huh. So let's see. With those cards we get clarifiers. So please universe give me a clarifier for the page of wands. And for the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. I just want to have another card for the Five of Wands because I'm not really sure right now what the universe is, wants to say to me. Let's get another card, guys. Okay, here it is. I just saw it. I don't have to ask. It's the Nine of Swords reversed. You're stressing yourself out. You're having nightmares about a wish that you want to have come true. And you're struggling. You have the feeling that many people compete for your wish. What else do I see here in this card? It says freedom. Yeah. It's something you... Next week you... There's a wish you have for a long time. And... Um, you're in your head a lot. Because I've seen it here with the swords card. And it's about making that wish come true. And you're struggling a little bit to do that because you're stressing yourself out. See that card like Hobie is laying here? He's like trying to get an epiphany and he's stressing himself out because, you know, he's laying on that railroad. 
there's I also feel there's a lot of stress you have inside of yourself for like it's like an inner struggle you have hmm and it's something you wish for a long time it's something about um self-fulfillment i feel because the nine is also for me a self-fulfilling card it's a wish you have for yourself not for others but it's a wish you have and um you're stressing yourself out either because you feel you're competing with too many people for that wish it's hard for you to bring that wish into reality it's hard for you you're struggling to make that wish come true and it has something to do with passion the pages are also always messengers and it says do it with passion or nothing at all so maybe next week you are at a point where you want to make a decision about um, something you keep for a very long time inside of yourself yeah it's inside of yourself and it's a wish fulfillment of yours it has something to do with passion maybe you got a message and um, or you're, you're struggling to get a message out you want to write about a passion maybe to another person it could be a fire sign fire signs are Leo Sagittarius Leo Sagittarius and Aries so maybe you want to write a message and you want to write something you want to express something you kept inside of yourself for a very long time and it's really your wish to express it but you're kind of struggling to do that you you feel kind of um yeah in your thoughts you feel kind of bound you know what i mean you're struggling to get that message out yes so what can what can help this army that shows pile juni i mean it's about speaking yourself you know it's what he did <laughs> you know that um really represents juni it's crazy it's like the message he always ow ah <laughs> I just want to... <laughs> okay, I burned myself. <laughs> ah. Oh, so maybe it's about burning yourself. You know, not literally, but um, you feel if you express yourself, you burn yourself. That's why you're struggling, maybe. Because you feel that it keeps backfiring at you if you express that wish. It's like a wish. It's like you want to express yourself for a very long time and you kept it inside of yourself you have a struggle to express that and you know what juni is saying you know express yourself speak yourself there you go i mean we had that song maybe that song is important this week i don't know but i kept throwing that song out in the last pile from cook and it says tell me what you want right now and isn't that crazy guys because i know i had this song for pal cook in the last reading you can watch that maybe it applies to you too but this is crazy guys it says tell me what you want you next week you you want to really express something about a passionate what you kept inside of yourself for a very long time and you are struggling because you feel you're burning yourself when you speak your mind you feel like yeah it keeps backfiring at you maybe we should do also do an advice card okay i want to do an advice card i just um decided that that i want to use it for the next piles i'm sorry pal cook for the, you being the first one but i didn't have the feeling i had to do a um like a an advice but i want to take an advice for this pile so please give me an advice for those armies that wants to speak herself okay And here we have Jin, and it says this. Those are the cards from the Army Help Center. So worry about your character, not your reputation. Isn't that crazy, guys? Your character is who you are, and your reputation is what others think you are. Speak yourself. Where can I put it? I just put it in the middle. Tell me what you want. Tell them. So next week, it's about speaking yourself. And this card is blue. 
Um, I did the card blue on purpose. I added that card blue on purpose because blue is the throat chakra. It's about expressing yourself. And you should tell, really tell what you want. Because if you don't express it and keep it to yourself, it's not good. It stresses you out, you know. So please, whatever um, comes next week, comes up, please speak yourself as Juni is doing. Okay, guys? So that's what I have for those of you who chose pile Juni. Let's... So, yeah, let's move on to pile Tian. Yeah, let's always put him in the middle. My BTS deco. Decoration. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's see. Universe, please give me two cards. What's happening to pile Taeyang next week? What important issue is coming up? I want to take this one. The Hierophant reversed. And this one, I just saw it, guys. Fire again, playing with fire. <laughs> I just burnt my hand in the last, reading the last pile. <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> why this is coming up. Okay, so universe, please give me a clarifier for why is the hero fan reversed here? Why is the hero fan reversed here? Why is the Ace of Wands reversed here? Okay. So, let me see. What could that be? You know, if you look at this card, um, you know from what situation this is. And this card is like you know something. You you know a secret. You have want to get out. And it has something to do with an equal give and take. And it's something you haven't expressed. And it's like when you go, you know how, how you say that in English. When you go to church and you want to uh, you wanna express yourself and you go to the priest and talk to them in secret, you know? You confide in someone, yeah. So maybe you're confiding in someone who you see as equally give and take, as a person that's equally to you. Maybe they experience the same stuff in their life. And you go to them and you tell them a secret. You t Yeah. And it is something about rules you have. Something about an equal give and take. That's what I'm feeling. Something about equality, equal give and take, and you go to that person, you can you confide in them. Like you tell them that, like, like you have something inside of yourself, like rules, values that you have, and you go and talk to a person that's similar to you in your values, and um, yeah, you confide in them. You might be um, a fire sign. Because there are a lot of ones. So what you tell them is something about your passion. So next week you go and tell them something. So maybe that person is could be your partner. Could be your partner in marriage. Because um, you see here those hearts. It's like an equal give and take. And um, yeah, maybe you you share a secret with your partner. With your husband or your wife and you or the other person could be a queen of wands means um, fire sign 
Leo-Sagittarius Aries. Yeah, and it's something about a new start, something about what you're passionate about, something about what you're fiery about. Hmm. What is the Ace of Wands about, universe? I just want to know. Queen of Pentacles, eh? two queens. So maybe you start, you want to start a project, like a work-related project. Yeah, you want to start something new, and you talk to your, to a person that's very close to you, and you talk to them to get their advice. Yeah, you go to them. Either you share a secret about a woman related to work. Or you go to your partner and you share with them a new um, passion you have, a new project you want to start, maybe a work-related project, something like that, okay? So let's see which song helps you a lot next week. So universe, give me a song for Army Chosen Pile Taeyang. Oh, oh, it just fell out. Aww. You know what song that is, right? Spring Day. What does it say? I want to read it. Because I have lyrics here on them. I put different lyrics. If I was the snow, I could be faster with you. Yes. So maybe you want to start in spring a new project. It says also missing you. So maybe you confide in your partner that you're missing something. You're missing an equal give and take maybe in the relationship that could also be. And you want a new start. You want a new start with your partner. This could also be. Let's see what the advice from the universe is. What is the advice universe for person choosing? Okay, that was fast. Look at this. It's a new passionate start. It's about that. You can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. Yeah. I think it's um, you confide in your partner or someone you're close to. Something about what's long overdue. Yeah. You, you withhold that for a long time and you keep that... Um, yeah, you keep that. Maybe it's also something from your childhood, a topic that's coming up in your life again and again. Maybe uh, because that song here is not today, so maybe you, this talk with that person was long overdue. So maybe you're, you know, you're talking about a topic next week with someone you very are very close with, someone family related or someone who you're married to, that um, you want to start a new chapter in your life. You want to make, you want to start something new. Okay, guys. So whatever this is, please leave a comment, and we move on to pile Jungi. Okay. <laughs> 